Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Anabolic Foodie Show. I'm brought to you by me, Manny. And in this show, I will show you that you do not have to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli four times a day to stay lean and get great results. Don't get me wrong, the chicken, rice, and broccoli diet works very well, but you have to stick with it. And the thing that sucks about the chicken, rice, and broccoli diet is that you have to stick with it. And the anabolic diet works the same way. You have to stick with it as well. If you switch to the anabolic diet, you're going to get similar results than the chicken, rice, and broccoli diet. So in today's episode, we have a special edition episode. We're going to replace one of your chicken, rice, broccoli meals with Nick's Exercise for Cheats Pumpkin Spice Milkshake. This ice hack made a difference on my ice cream, but I want to see if it makes a difference on his because mine is more fruit-based ice cream and his is more like yogurt-based ice cream. We are going to make two different variations, but I'm only going to record one because it's exactly the same process and all we got to do is change one ingredient. If you guys like this kind of content, give me a share and like, please. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, for the recipe, we're splitting both recipes in half because I possibly cannot eat that much ice cream. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to make the ice hack. All you need is 240 grams of water. So 240 grams. And we're gonna need Walden Farms um, creamer. It's zero calories as well. So 15 milliliters, okay? 15 milliliters. There we go, 15 on the dot. Then we just pour it in there. And if you see that, you see how the color changes and um, the texture changes as well, guys. So we're gonna have to freeze this, but luckily I did this last night and I already got another tray for you guys so I can show you exactly how it looks like, guys. Okay, guys, if you guys can see the difference on the ice, this is a regular ice. And this is the one with the creamer from last night. If you can see the difference, yeah, it's a big difference. And then the texture changes as well, guys. So I wanna see if it makes a difference on Nick's ice cream, not just mine. But this is the ingredient that we are exchanging. And that's it, everything else is exactly the same. Okay, guys, for the first ingredient, we're gonna need 61 grams, 100% pure pumpkin. 61 grams, okay? Okay, guys, remember, 61 grams on the dot, okay? For the next ingredient, we're gonna need 25 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. Remember guys, 25 grams, okay? We are also gonna need 56 grams of almond milk. Remember guys, 56 grams. Ooh, 58, cool, that's good enough for me. We're also gonna need one cap full of vanilla. One cap four or one teaspoon, it's up to you guys. Perfect, one cap four. We're also gonna need one and a half grams of guar gum. Remember, one and a half grams, guys. Cool, one and a half. Nick put jello cheesecake on his recipe, but I would suggest that you put a pumpkin spice jello mix. I mean, it only makes sense, right? So, four grams. Okay, guys. Four grams. We are also going to need one and a half grams of fake sugar. Remember guys, one and a half grams, okay? On the dot, one and a half grams. Next ingredient, we're gonna need 31 grams of vanilla whey protein. 31 grams. Okay guys, remember, 31 grams, okay? On the dot. And lastly, we're gonna need 240 grams with the ice with the creamer. And this is the one I make. The other one is gonna be with the ice, but I'm only gonna show you how to make one. This ice even breaks differently from the original ice, the regular normal ice. It does, it breaks differently and the texture is different too. Okay. Okay guys, next set to blend for exactly one minute. Okay. After the one minute, you're gonna have to scrape the sides and re-blend it for one minute and a half. Make sure you scrape the sides and blend them all in. So we're gonna have to blend for a minute and a half. That's another minute and a half, man. We are ready to serve it. And I'll make the other one, but I'm not gonna show you how to make it because it's exactly the same process. And I'm just gonna skip to the video. 
Okay guys, here's both half the recipes, way bigger than my head guys. And this is the one Nick has and this is the one I did with the ice hag. We're gonna both try them out right now. And I know Nick puts caramel on his, but I'm not going to because I do not have the calories for it. I wanted to know more if my ice hack does work on his type of ice cream. We're gonna try both of them back to back to see if it does make a difference on his type of ice cream or just on mine. Okay, I'm gonna try his out first. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. Damn, Nick, this is good. This is really good, Nick. You got down. Damn. This is really, really good, Nick. Man, keep it up, guy. Okay, now we're gonna try the one I made with the ice hack. Yeah. And yeah, you can tell the difference. Yeah, it's better, and it tastes better. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it does taste better. I can tell the difference. This is good too, though. Okay, let me try it one more time just to see if uh, if it's really good. You know, this is good too, though. I ain't gonna lie. If I didn't try mine, then you know, his is his is really good. Yeah, it gives it like another half a point or one point more with the ice cream. It does give it on mine. It does make a little bit more difference than on his, but his you can still taste the difference. You know, you probably wouldn't be able to tell tell as much if it, they're not back to back. But I have them right there, right here, back to back, just to make sure they're both. Um, you know, if it makes a difference or not, if it's even worth doing or you know whatever. But yeah, guys, that's a lot of ice cream. That's pretty good stuff, guys. Okay, this is for the macros for half of it for both of them. So it's each one is 202 calories, three fat, 13 carb, and 28 protein. And those calories are not too chubby if you ask me. They both got the exactly the same macros because the Walden Farms uh, creamer does not have any calories. Okay guys, this recipe is from Nick from Exercise for Cheats. And if you want to check him out, he has a lot of good content. Okay guys, now you don't have to eat three chicken and rice broccoli meals and one anabolic pumpkin spice milkshake from Nick's. Okay guys, if you replace one of your chicken, rice, and broccoli meals with Nick's pumpkin spice milkshake, it is most likely you'll stick to your diet. And if you want to replace the other three chicken and rice broccoli meals with like say tres leches, cake, tamales, or chorizo, it is most likely that you won't cheat on your diet. I have a book with a lot of great recipes that can replace those three remaining meals. I will put a link on the description box below for purchase. And if you want to replace with another chicken and rice broccoli meal, you should click on one of my other recipe videos. Okay guys, remember, all the strong subscribe, share, like, and buy. Till next time, Manny out. Okay guys, till next time, deuces.